Do not desire what you see in the road, child of God. There are other people are driving cars. But you don't know those cars are also coffins. They are coffins. The devil will not give you anything. But the body is pushing you. I just want pleasure. I want to have a good house. So I can be shown that I'm smart. Do it quickly. The things that are cutting corners so you can have money. Tell your body this. Heyo. This it does not help what is inside of me. That is why you see people are pretending from the outside. They are laughing, but inside their heart they are crying. Don't desire everyone that you see that has money because you don't know where that money comes from. Other people have given away their parents. They have finished their, their family members. They have finished their aunties. They don't sleep in their homes. You just pass by and say, oh, this is a good house. <laughs> it's a good house. <laughs> you see that it's good, yes. But your friend there is crying. If I knew, that's the owner of that house. Your friend is asking themselves this life until when? You know, it's working for the devil. There is a mind that comes back to you. I'm about to give another person. When is this going to end? How come I'm f- I finished all my children? I thought I was going to be given money so my children can enjoy them. But those children are finished. The Lord takes us to challenging times so that he can break the nature of our human body so he may receive things in the spirit that comes from the heavens. Just Relax. Yes, challenges are a lot. Sorry to you. We'll continue to pray for each other so that God can strengthen you so he can overcome these challenges. But the Lord also says this. Temptation it will never go beyond your faith. So don't go quickly. If you're going to challenge you, you have to tell the Lord, my faith is in you. Your faith is in you. It will not go over your faith. Our God in heaven knows the power of that challenge and knows the power of the faith that is in you. How, how do you think of this God? Your faith is small and it gives you a big challenge. That challenge that you go through right now, God knows that you still have the power to overcome it. Do not lower your faith between and faith. Amen. Our God knows us more than we know ourselves. I know you're crying but God is there he knows your cry but he's creating greater things and our second point for God to take us to this challenge it is for, to prepare us to receive greater things how can you receive greater things when you're still a child a 10 year old child you want to give them a big load child abuse. that is child abuse God even sees us like that as well for God to give you great things he has to strengthen your faith first. and through the strength of your faith that is a challenging time that you have to pass through and just like David he went through all these challenges it is because God was preparing him you cannot be a king and you don't know how to lead a sheep amen amen you cannot be a king and you don't know how to be a shepherd you have to go through those forests you don't want to go there how can you lead people firstly start with sheep that is why God took David to the forest so he can take care of his sheep and in that, in that forest where there is stones I want to see how you lead these people and David fought against great animals in that forest 
animals that kill people. And you may be that what you're going through, you think that it's maybe just death it is in front of you. But I want to tell you, strengthen your faith. There is no death there. God is just creating you to go something greater. Amen. David saw that this is just a death. At my age, how can I go through this animal? You know, there is work experience that is needed. What you're going through is a placement that you're doing so that you can do a good job. You, where have you worked? I've never worked. Even if you are the company owner. You are the company owner. You have your own business and people of every kind and you look if they're doing well or not. They're, they're taking people. Where have you worked? I've never worked before. I'm looking for people with experience. Even one thing you have never done, no, I haven't. Okay. Sit there. David in the challenges in that forest that is what gave him favor in front of Saul and David told Saul this I am your servant I was shepherding sheep and a great animal tried to touch the sheep but let me tell you I your servant I fought against the animal and I won Amen Amen. So do you think David when they were fighting against the animal do you think he was dancing was he happy he said, my God, I might die in this forest. I'm still a child. This is a great animal. I will finish my life. But he said, let me just fight for my last fight. Let me see what happens. And he killed, killed the animal. And he gave him a subject to tell people, so um, king, do not be worried. This man is used to battle. That experience that you've seen, I also have my own. Amen. Amen. For you to climb the ladder, you need to have experience. And that is why promotions are in jobs. Before you get a promotion, the time to get promotion is just because you don't have power, no. Those who are giving promotions, it are those that are courageous. And God does the same thing. And our third point, in that challenging time, it creates an atmosphere of God to do something. Hallelujah. Amen. That is where everyone wants great things. But in those great things, for you to reach those great things, the, the challenging time that you will not love in your humanly body and that is why guard your heart so it can be the source of life because it will give you power when things are even worse you will see the source of life that is in you and you continue to encourage you hallelujah amen that is what everyone wants but let me tell you the truth there is no miracles of God without going through trials you have to be tortured so that you can receive those great things we want miracles we want all the things that we ask from God to happen God what is in your heart so that God can do great things for you Amini. believe Amini. and when you believe don't mix your faith with other things yes, Jesus says this Mimi. I ufufu. I am the resurrection and life Unatua. you know it is very bad to enter to issues that you don't know about. You have to know the power of what you believe in so that you can enter things of your faith. Those um, prophets of Baal, they were, they were very wrong 
Elisha came and told them it must be known today First King chapter 18 and Elisha came and said this Elijah, sorry. Elijah. and he said this it must be known today between God of the heavens and the God of Baal. And what we will do 